Okay, let's do the next example, which is kind of fun. We're doing the volume generated by the curves negative 4, 5, and e to the x. So what's happening on this one is hopefully you remember that e to the x kind of looks like this. <clears throat> That's what e to the x looks like. And we're going to do the integral from here, negative 4, to here. So here's my region right here from negative 4 to 5, and we're going to rotate it, which will create kind of this funnel-looking shape, uh, kind of a funnel-looking thing. And uh, we're going to use the formula to find the volume of that funnel thing created by the E-curve. And uh, fortunately, it's not it's pretty straightforward, so let's just do it. Remember that the formula is the integral from A to B of pi r squared, basically, where r is our function. So that's the formula right there. And so here we go. This will be the integral from negative 4 to 5 of pi times our function e to the x squared. And that's all there is to it. So if we keep going, this will be pull the pi out. This will be negative 4 to 5. Notice that e to the x times e to the x is going to just be e to the 2x. And that's because, um, you know, e to, the, e to the x times e to the x, we have the same base. And so you can add the powers. And so that's just e to the 2x right there. So there we go. It's not e to the x squared. Be careful with that. This is not e to the x squared. It's e to the 2x. All right, take the integral. It'll be, uh, sorry, take the integral, it'll be pi times e to the 2x over 2 because, uh, you know, you take the derivative of e to the 2x over 2, you get a 2 left over from the chain rule, which cancels the 2, gets us back to e to the 2x, and we'll evaluate that from negative 4 to 5. All right, so if we do that, there's my pi. This will be e to the 2 times 5, which is 10, minus e to the 2 times negative 4, which will be e to the negative 8 over 2. And this is basically the answer that the book gets. They go ahead and pull out the divided by 2, factor it. So they get a final answer of e to the 10 minus e to the negative 8 times pi over 2. So I don't know. I would accept either. I would accept either one of these answers. I would even accept it if you put the pi back in. That's why I manually grade your tests so I can see that you got the right answer. So hopefully that was okay. If you have any questions, please email me, and uh, I'll see you in the next section.